So these are going to be the landmarks of the femur. We'll start up at the top. So first you have the head. Uh, inside or on the head you have the fovea capitis right here. Coming down you have the neck of the femur wrapping around. This big landmark right here that is the greater trochanter. And on the inside right here, you have the lesser trochanter. Connecting the two trochanters on the back side or posterior side, you have the intertrochanteric crest. And again, connecting the, the two trochanters on the anterior side, you have the intertrochanteric line right here. Moving again posteriorly, you have gluteal tuberosity. Right under and off of the lesser trochanter, you have a line right here, which is your pectineal line. And right here, you have your spiral line, which acts as a continuation off of the intertrochanteric line. Moving down, we have the linea aspera, branches off into two lines or ridges. So on this side you'll have the lateral supracondylar ridge or line, and then on this side you'll have the medial supracondylar ridge or line. If we look down at the, uh, the end of the femur, you have your femoral condyles right here. So if we're on the side with the head, that's your medial side, so your medial condyle, lateral condyle. But the sides of the femur, right here and here, you have your medial epicondyle, your lateral epicondyle. And again on the medial side, you have a small bump right here, which is your adductor tubercle. Uh, in the last two surfaces, you have right here your intercondylar surface, right there, and your patellar surface right here. So in order to tell left from right, the, you look at uh, the side with the patellar surface and you know that this is the anterior side. The head will point towards the body and that way you'll know whether or not this is a left or a right. This would be a left because the head would be pointing towards my body if I put it on, on my thigh. The femur articulates with the os coxa, or the hip bone, articulates specifically with the acetabulum. And down on the distal end, you have it articulating with the, with the uh, tibia, and it also articulates with the patella.